Another topic in differentiation is implicit differentiation. So this is a little bit different from everything else because implicit differentiation is what you're going to use when you have an expression that is not a function of x. So up until this point when you've been doing power rule, chain rule, product rule, quotient rule, all of those things you've generally been dealing with just functions where x is your only variable and you always have y equals. Now in, t in general that's not going to be the case. But all those rules still apply just in a slightly different fashion. So the key to implicit differentiation is that you treat y and x as their own variables, the only difference being whenever you take the derivative of a y because of the chain rule, the derivative of a variable by itself is always just 1. But remember, because of the chain rule, you have to multiply by the derivative of it. The derivative of a y is dy dx if you're doing the derivative with respect to x. You can think of this as when you did the derivative of x, you get 1 times dx dx, but dx dx is just 1, and therefore the derivative of x is 1. But the derivative of y with respect to x is dy dx, the, your derivative term. So let's do a quick example of that. Say you had the function xy equals y cubed plus 1. This function, you cannot separate y equals and get it as a function of x and do your derivative normally. You can't do it for this function. You have to do this implicitly. So, we're going to do our derivatives here. Now, when you have a term like xy, that is a product of two different functions, x and y. You have to use the product rule. So, in using the product rule, we would get 1 times y plus x times the derivative of y, which is dy dx. On the right side of the equation, we have y cubed. y cubed would just be using power rule, 3y squared, but times the derivative of the inside, which is y, you have to have a dy dx, and the derivative of 1 is 0. So now your objective, when you have an implicit function and then you've taken the derivative implicitly, is to solve for dy dx, because the whole point is you want to get the derivative equals something so that you can uh, do the derivative. Remember, dy dx is the derivative. So in order to solve for dy dx, we need to get those terms on the same side. So here I have y. I'm going to subtract this term over there, so both of the dy dx's are on the right side. So you get 3y squared dy dx minus x dy dx. You can now factor out the dy dx and then divide by everything that's left. So we would get 3y squared minus x equals y. And finally, you could write dy dx equals y over 3y squared minus x. So you can see that when you do an implicit differentiation problem, many times your answer for your derivative is going to have y's in it as well as x's, and that's perfectly fine because your original function also had y's in it instead of x's. It's typical that the derivative is going to also. So the key for uh, implicit differentiation problems is you treat y as just another function. So if you have it times x or something like that, you have to do product rule or you might have to do quotient rule. But anytime you take the derivative of a y term, you have to multiply by dy dx.